Hello everyone, Miss Simmons here. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this fun lion and then you can color it on your own how you choose. If you're here at school with me, we're going to be using neutral colors to color our lion. So we're going to be exploring different browns, grays, black, and white when we color ours. But if you're working from home, we're going to leave it unfinished at the end so you can color it however you want. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm also going to use a black marker so that you can see my lines a little bit easier. You can trace your lines with a marker or a crayon or anything if you want to help make them stand out a little bit. Now we're going to start right in the middle of the paper with our lion's head. For our lion's head, we're going to make a rectangle, but we don't want it to be pointy on the ends. We want it to be rounded. So we're going to make a rounded rectangle. To do that, I like to start at the bottom by making the letter U. Then I copy the shape. on top. Next we're going to make our ears. One bump off the corner on each side. Then trace around it to make another bump. For the mouth, we're going to start at the bottom first and just draw a line across. Then we need to make our nose before we finish our mouth because our mouth comes out of our nose. So right in the middle make the letter V and draw a flat line across the top. Then on each side curve out to the edges. Now when you make your lion's teeth, make them nice and big so that they stand out, especially when you start coloring. Same thing on the bottom, make them nice and big so that they stand out. If you make them teeny, teeny, tiny, they'll be hard to see. We want our lion to be big and ferocious. On each side, we want to put some whiskers. Start by drawing some small circles and then lines coming out. And they can be as long or as short as you want. I'm going to make this one a little longer. Do the same thing on the other side. Some little circles and then some lines for my whiskers. Now, the rest of the lion's nose is a nice big curve. And to finish him off, we need some eyes. I like my lion to look like he's kind of angry, like he's roaring. So I make a flat line, then a half circle, and I like to color my half circle in black. smeared my black a little but that's okay. Now, I usually color this part in black too but I'm not going to do that right now. The rest of your lion you can choose how you want to do. In class we're going to be using some markers in different shades of brown to make our lion's mane as if it's going all the way out and off the page. You could use a pencil to mark where those lines are going to be, like this, or you could just have fun with your colors and maybe instead of straight sections, your lion has wiggly wild rainbow hair. Take your time and enjoy finishing your project on your own. I can't wait to see what you do. So if you're working for a grade, like my first graders are, 
make sure you send me a picture through Canvas. Have a great Gator Day.